Hello, my name is Nao Nambula, also known as Daddy Cooks. Daddy Cooks! Today is all about the cooking. But before we go into that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. See that part that says subscribe? Please subscribe! Just press that. Just press that. And then also, that little bell next to it, press that. That just helps you to know when a new video has come up. I am going to show you today how to make what is called the sima. Um, some people call it salsa, salsa. Uh, others call it uh, uh, strala. Uh, when you go to the eastern side of Africa, they call it Ugali. Uh, where I come from, the western side of Zambia, <laughs> we do call it simply Buhobe. So depending on where you come from, they call it different. But I am going to show you the simple way of doing it in Zambia, the way we do it, because I'm from Zambia. If you're daddy at home with the kids, uh, this is for you. If you're a mom at home with the kids, this is for you. If your brother, sister, cousin, wherever, uh, you're home with the kids and you want to make something quick in the oven and all that, this is for you. <laughs> I will show you how you start uh, putting it together and you know at the end of it will be like a white pot. But you can't eat it on its own, you have to eat it with something. Uh, and it just tastes like mm, it's feeling as well. So yeah, without further ado, come along and I'll show you. Daddy cooks. So this is how we start for the kawani. So we're using that pot. All you gotta do is measurements. So we've got some millimil in there. Uh, just a mug full of milk. You pour it completely right in the pot. And then the next thing you do is get a bit of water, just enough, just enough water to get a simple mix. So you mix it. And so nice and mixed. It's ready. So boil some water in a teapot. And, and once the water is ready and full, bring the pot on the stove and pour that boiled water in there. And while you pour it, pour it in there, just stare. We call this ukufubila, uh, you know, in, in, in that's a Bemba language. Ukufubila, ukufubila. So all you do is stare, mm. start fubiling, fubila, mm. fubil, 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 just keep fubiling. The idea is to get a, a thick, nice and thick, it's like you're making white sauce, but it's actually not white sauce, eh? nice and thick. And what you're going to do now, if it's nice and mixed, you can tell when it's nice and mixed, what you do now is let it boil. What? Let it boil. What? Mm. Call it water. Let it boil. So we're gonna let it boil for a while, and we wait for the next stage. So after the shima has boiled, has boiled for about um, five minutes, it is ready for the cook. So remember the cup. You get another cup full of uh, milk, milk, just pour it in there and stare. Just make sure as you stare, it's getting thicker so you're noticing the the thickness of the uh, kabuari. Nenshima. Nenshima. Kenhobe. So you mix it a little bit, check it's thickening up a little bit, pour the rest in there, and then you stare again. I know 
when you're cooking in Shima, sometimes it's a bit messy. But hey, once you're done, it is all nice and cool. So let's get another cup. So here you get another cup. And just keep pouring in there, making sure that you, you can feel the thickness of the what do you call it? porridge yeah it's like a it's like a thick porridge mm -hmm. you start to mix so you mix it mm -hmm. you start to naya uh, naya mm -hmm. kusoka you start to soka that's that's why you call it in my language loza soka so notice the way i was holding the cooking stick i was holding the cooking stick so i can just get it mixed up a little bit and once it, it, start, it starts getting thick, I then change my position of hand. So I'm using my thumb and my other fingers to just hold the stick. Because ideally, we're gonna start pulling it against the wall of the pot. And once you do that, it's, it's pressing it and mixing it even more. So you just keep doing that. So I've got my dad, my dad, my dad used to hold it like that. How he used to do it, he used to do it that way. That's good, that's good, but I, I prefer that way. So, so you mix it, I say it, when you're cooking shimmer, sometimes it's messy. Just take a look at the house move. It starts getting, so the more you mix, the smoother it gets. So, what we're gonna do, Let's put just a little bit more to thicken it because you know want a <laughs> hard one nice and hard not very hard because the kids will not be able to eat it but hey that's how we do there you go there you go so you can if you're strong enough you can go even faster but the idea is you, you mix it all mix it all mix it all so that it starts looking smooth just might a little bit need a little bit more just a little bit more so what I'm doing there is I'm trying to make it in the middle sometimes I'll do that and I'll switch my hand because I want that that side of the pot to be mixed as well so I'm, I'll use my left hand as well because I can use both if you just use one hand you can do one side and then move one side so literally you're flipping it over so you can grab it again and pull it against the wall of the pot it's nice and thick oh look at that and then the last bit here this is what I love so you steer, 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 and then you whew, see that? You flip it over. That just gives you that smoothness. Looks like uh, the next part you want is to pakul, to um, serve. And, and we use one of these. This is from Africa. So the idea is to dip it in, in water. Just make it soft. So that when you scoop, the nsima and put it in the in the in the, in the plate it's nice and, and smooth after you've let it um, cook for a little bit you go back there and just just stay it for the last 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 part just make sure it's nice just make sure it's nice nice and hard I told you it's a little bit mess when you're doing seam up, but wait and see until wait and see. Next thing you do. get the scoop what you want to do is scoop it up against the wall of the port and then 
when you come to this part, look at how smooth it is. Scoop it against the the wall and then just and that just looks so smooth. Look at that. Look at how smooth that is. Yeah, that's called enzima. So that's just for one plate. Ready for the munch. It's as simple as that. Thank you very much for watching uh, this video and um, I hope it has helped someone uh, to cook a cool decent meal and now it's my time to uh, eat later don't forget to subscribe please subscribe